so she's not gonna see this on here, but I wrote a song about my ex. I talked to her two days ago. My days are getting really, really blended together. But I talked to her a couple days ago. And I got really fucking emotional, or whatever, for some reason. Um, like, we have shared a lot of life together. I'm not jealous of her partner or of her having a kid. It's just, and I mean that genuinely, I'm not jealous. It's just, like, a weird feeling because if she has to get back with me, I would get back with her. I'm not even bullshitting. Like, um, so I wrote this song called Crucified. Um, my homie Goose came up with, like, the Crucified like logo look thing right and I was like well I don't really know anything that would fit that and then the other day I was just like crying and I was like you know I want to put this onto something um so I wrote the song I put these riffs together and I've been playing it a couple times a day every single day since I wrote it. my bad squirrel I accidentally poked him you're okay you're okay <laughs> did I awoken you did I awoken the squirrel I'm sorry anyways um but yeah, so it's gonna be called Crucified. It's basically a full song. It has lyrics. I'm working on the vocal stuff. It's basically gonna be it's basically like a both my Valentine song, but more emo. Like the verses are gonna be screamed because my vocal melody I wanted to do don't fit with the awesome riff that I have. And same with the bridge, and then the chorus is gonna be sung. But anyways, so, so it's not like it's not like sad or depressing, it's just like you know like the like the stages of grief and all that crap. Like like when you get to that acceptance point, it's just like such a trippy such a trippy place to be. Like, I still talk to my, like, ex-mother-in-law and stuff, because, like, we still get along, whatever. I've always talked to her since I was, like, 15, like, about to be 29 on the 22nd. I think it's the 7th today, so, yeah. It's just, it's just, life is such a trip, dude. Like, I don't even know. Like, how did I get here? Like, how did I, how did I get here, you know? Like, to a certain degree, don't look at my remote. To a certain degree, I said, Lost my train of thought. But to a certain degree, I'm very happy. I'm grateful for the people and the stuff and whatever I have in my life and what I'm doing now and how I look now and how I am now. You know, I wouldn't give that up, but I feel like it's totally healthy to miss the times when I was a carefree teenager. And that's what I talk about in the song, like like 3 a.m. driving to the beach or whatever. Like, I, you'll see. You'll see eventually. You'll get it. Um... But, like, I feel like I embodied, like, the, all the feelings that I feel bad for having or feel like I'll be crucified for having, right? Because you shouldn't miss your ex, you shouldn't talk to your ex or this or that. Like, I'm never going to stop talking to her. I'm never going to not be there for her. I'm never going to not love her or care for her. And I'm just kind of tired of pretending lightweight that it's the opposite of that because it's not. And so, like, this song is my response to that. So, once I figure out how to properly record it, you'll 